whoop woke up positive happy friday to you already know welcome back Melovators. listen let's dive right into um i get this question from time to time how do you wake up positive every single day and really my first thought is how do you not you feel what i'm saying it's a decision that i made and i don't even remember honestly when i started this but one day i decided i gotta take control of my day and the way you start the day kind of dictate dictates how your day gonna go you feel me and once i understood that and that i understood that i had the control over that i just made it a practice and it became a thing of just consistency once you get into the flow of something it might not feel like that day one you feel what i'm saying this is like day 700 from like i don't even know i lost count really you feel me so knowing that having the information having the knowledge the wisdom to know that you are affecting your day that really kicked off my whole okay i'm going purposefully because i'm living on purpose i'm gonna purposefully wake up positive every day i'm gonna put it on instagram and then boom i'm putting it out there boom my day started with good energy is high you feel what i'm saying i'm not starting it off with the news a bunch of negative stories that just get you in a sometimes we don't realize how much this stuff affects us right and i'll say this too I, at one point in my life i read this book maybe two years ago maybe longer than that but i read a book called outwitting the devil and it talks about it made me kind of scared of everything <laughs> in society you feel me not scared in a negative way but like man i gotta really be protective of what i'm allowing into my mind so like it's literally been like three four years since i've watched tv for real like i just cut it off completely i mean for my kids you know we watch kids shows and i love power by the way but um other than that i don't watch any tv but how you start that day off and the things that you allow to influence you throughout your day totally affect you us more than we know until you know now once you know you start to live more purposefully and you be a little bit more mm, okay i'm gonna watch what i allow into my 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 head you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be mindful of everything that's coming in that's influencing me you feel me so man 2020 vision man turn the tv off and turn on this right here and use it uh wisely you feel what i'm saying we we, we only have so many hours in a day and, and spending an hour on the on the tube it might be cool fun haha <laughs> get a couple laughs entertaining but how is it affecting us how is it leveling us up how is it elevating our mindset you feel me being dormant like you just kind of what they say the idle mind is a devil's workshop when you just kind of watching tv just letting time pass by you're just like it's like numbing life away it's almost like drinking you know what i'm saying you might judge a drinker a uh, alcoholic or uh, uh, somebody addicted to drugs or weed or whatever tv is the same thing it's a drug it's numbing you it's it's an escape from real life you feel what i'm saying and so that right there you're not really too mindful of how it's influencing and affecting us you feel what i'm saying so um that's that's a big way that i wake up positive every day one I, on purpose i do it because when i wake up i know that i want to wake up positive so i say it i make it that and then two i really be mindful of what i allow to influence me and affect me okay i'm not gonna watch tv like it was an easy decision once i learned oh this is how the mind works oh this is how things are affecting me okay let me not just waste away time just watching some entertainment that they getting paid for by the way you know i could be spending my time building a business being with my family loving my friends you know things like that the tv you know we get so used to habits it was a big habit of mine i grew up just really watching a lot of tv um but now here we are, end of 2019, going into 2020. We got 2020 vision. You feel what I'm saying? We 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 living on purpose now. You know, it's a difference. It's a difference. I'm telling you, makes a major difference. Here, uh, what I say about four years later now, after no TV, like my energy is totally shifted. Like I am almost totally in control of me and how I react to things. Um, I'm very mindful. I notice certain things. Okay. Mm, I, ooh, no, I don't want to do that. Like, very mindful, man. Um, and I'm not telling you you have to turn off the TV to be positive. But think about it. You know, when I read The Outwitting the Devil and it told me, taught me about, it's a thing that he used in there called drifters, which basically is 
the devil, devil, whatever you want to call that, uses things like TV, entertainment, people, whatever, to kind of veer you off from your purpose in life. You feel what I'm saying? Distractions, big distractions, man. Everything is a distraction from the focus. If you stay focused on something, you will live like how you really want to live. Like, um, it really made me go, wow. I didn't even finish the book when I first read it because it was like, oh my gosh. Like, I got to really watch everything. Like, everything is negatively affecting me. And I don't want that influence on myself. Like, I want to have control over me. You dig what I'm saying? So that was a big decision I had to make. And it was just that day. I, I tend to do things like that. Like, I picked up a water habit some years ago. Like, this is really all I drink. You know, I drink alcohol sometimes <laughs> and tea. But I don't really drink nothing else other than water. Like, I just sometimes I just make decisions off impulse. And it's like, oh, that's what I'm doing forever. So when the TV thing came, I really used to just, especially at nighttime, turn on some Fresh Prince, Martin, and just watch the same old thing every day. Every day. Family Guy, that was probably one of the last shows I was watching regularly. Family Guy, I loved Family Guy. So funny. But <laughs> I just had to cut it off, man. And, and I found better things to do with my time versus letting it just fly by. You feel what I'm saying? So... People that ask me, you know, how you wake up positive every day? It's on purpose. It, I already decided before I went to sleep that I'm going to wake up positive. No matter what happens, no matter what's going on in life, I'm going to wake up positive. I decided that. That's how. It's literally, that's the only thing. It, once you make a decision, stick by it. Like, we really have that control. We're not taught that, so sometimes we don't realize it until we start to do it. And it becomes a habit to control ourselves. But, you know... Not having control, just staying in the same old habits that we always had. You feel what I'm saying? By the way, I'm on day 37, no tree, you know, tree free. I've never, I haven't been this long since I've started smoking weed. Like, day 37, none at all. I, and I don't feel no urges. I feel totally in control of myself. So, you know, everybody that already know, thank you for joining me on this journey. Thank you for, you know, not trying to... Uh, Pull me back into that, you know. My friends respect it. I love you guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, man, let's just have control, you know. Wake up positive, all 2020, all 2021, and forever more. You know, just decide to do that. Decide it right now. And don't let nothing else come in between you doing that. Make it a priority. You know, and that's another thing. When you distance yourself from all the distractions, you have more time to focus on what you want and what you want to do. And nothing can really distract you and take you off course. You feel what I'm saying? You got more focus. It's this thing called ADHD that the TV really heightens your ADHD because you just boop, 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 attention everywhere. You know, if you notice, watch TV. See how many times the screen changes and takes your attention to different things, different places. Videos. I learned that videos, let's turn this down. My guys is amazing, by the way. Shout out to Damari. Maserati Mari. But um, watch a video and notice how many times the, the screen changes. I learned that that really makes the brain not be able to focus. You know what I'm saying? I started meditating some years ago and I do it every single day. So I build my focus up tremendously. <laughs> it's on another level at this point and it's going to continue to grow forever. You never stop growing and learning. Once you stop learning, I feel like that's when you die. So let's wake up positive, man. Let, why not? You know, make the decision and then do it. That's it. It's really that simple. Once you get it and once you start doing it, you'll be like, wow, it really is that simple. It's just nothing to it but to do it. I think Nike has the best slogan ever. Just do it. Just do it. That's it. I think they might have came up with that in just a simple meeting. Somebody was like, yo, how you do it? Man, just do it. That's it. Just do it. <laughs> It's nothing else to it, man. Listen, like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel. We back every day, each and every day, waking up positive, man. Share it with a friend, somebody who could use this. If you can use it, share it with yourself 10 times. You feel what I'm saying? You got to influence your mind purposefully every single day, not just by default. Don't live by default. Live on purpose. What's your purpose? What do you want? Take some time. Figure that out today. You dig what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, man. You already know where there's a will, there's a way. Hey.